reduce at risk to quantify the risk in our portfolio management process. Mm -hmm. Many to build our pricing tools you know, to be used after by the underwriters. Okay. But as you know, uh, the underwriters are not actuaries, but pricing process is based on actual practice, not actual theory. So we have to automate actual calculation so that the underwriters can use it properly. So at risk, at risk we do we do that you know, quite easily. Yes. That's the reason why, in my opinion, at risk is very important in our process. In our loss model, reader, we have different cases for what we call additional losses, major losses, and catastrophic losses. We have to put all that together, build our model based on at risk. We fit data to get the real distribution. Afterward, we run, we run the simulation, multiple simulation, to get the statistics regarding the program we have to cut. Uh, you know, the calculation, actual calculation are not so easy. But using at risk, you know, we automate all these parts of the calculation so that underwriters feel at ease when they use you know, all these calculations. They are not aware with uh, actual practice, but they can use the uh, tools, okay, because the main part, you know, so the, the actual part is automated. Okay? It's transparent, but they don't have to act on this part of the process. Uh, two points. First of all, we have to have a local library you can feed. Very important for us. And also, you know, in our pricing process, some people don't need to run simulation and so on. So they don't need to have at risk. But, but now they can use our model without having at risk on the computer. Very important. These two points are very important for us.